Can I talk about the first time I pulled into the parking lot? Because <laughs> it started even from there. I remember vividly the chairs were yellow. Oh, that building on the corner of La Brea and Hollywood that looks like a spaceship. Got to LA on a Tuesday, came to Mosaic that Sunday for the first time. I remember walking in thinking, like, is it okay that this church is in a nightclub? Well, I had Googled, searched, and I wish I remembered the keywords, but it was something like smart pastors in Los Angeles. I love telling people I've been here my whole life. The one thing that I really remember is all the smiles. It made me feel welcome the first time. You know, when we started off, all we had was a soundboard that didn't really work very well. We didn't know what was going to happen, so we just, just like, you know, got ready for the adventure. The first few years of really forming Mosaic was a really challenging time because Mosaic was just something in our imagination. It was something that was in our hearts. It wasn't something that really existed. I love the fact that that's why it was all blown up when we came is Erwin really believes that everybody is called. We are called, we're all called. We were doing fashion shows and film festivals Terra and Terra Nova and all. It was a big creative mess. It was so chaotic and, and there was a reason for that. I knew why I was doing it. And I, and sometimes I knew what I was doing, but I had no idea how to do it. We had a joke amongst us, we used to say change is our middle name because we never knew what happened what happened from Sunday to Sunday sometimes. Yeah, I remember as being a part of the production team or worship team for all those years, just being in different venues. We should have a tour bus one day that just drives everyone to every single location we've ever been to. We've been in so many buildings, it's insane. It's never been about the building. It's always been about the crazy people who come to it. I think the strengths of Mosaic are that it's flexible and it moves with seasons and with changes and with culture. We've got to witness that, the transformation of human lives, many, many, many times over. I, I don't know if people can fully understand the cost. It would have been so much easier to keep the church the same. It would have been easier on us as a family. It would have been so much easier on our kids. It's been a lot of sacrifice, yeah. That's the most like poignant word I can think of to describe their journey is just obedient. We were just constantly relocating, constantly moving. Moving here was nothing short of a miracle. The memory of walking the building with Pastor Irwin and he started to cry and I didn't know why he was crying. He said, one day the whole world will know this building because of Jesus and creativity. I remember the first week that I came, I was sitting down in the right side. We have some couches in the front. Walked in and I cannot explain. I just immediately felt like home. How are they like excited to see me? I'm a mess and... I remember Pastor Erwin walking on stage and I remember thinking immediately, it is different. This is a different place. I feel like I found myself at Mosaic more than I was searching for something. It made me a better son, a better brother, a better friend. It strengthened me as a thinker, it strengthened my faith, it strengthened the way that I talk about my faith. I think if I hadn't heard how Jesus was expressed through Mosaic, I would have ever heard it. Even someone like me, who was a high school failure, has been in jail a few times, sits here today as a renewed guy. And I just never thought that my life would uh, end up here, to be honest. What I can truly say is that we could not have gone through the hard times without Mosaic. Mm -hmm. When I walked through these doors, I automatically knew that this is where I belonged. I found my people, I found my family. I couldn't picture our family life without this community. Because of this church, you want to be baptized? Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 <Bye -bye. laughs> well said, yeah. <laughs> I just like would never give up being a part of a movement like this. It just was what it was supposed to be, and what it was supposed to be was applicable to anybody and everybody. This community is really special. To me, this is a, a family. Being a part of a community like this and loving Jesus is 
life-giving. It's just so special because it feels so intentional. I see hands go up every week and I remember that feeling of like, oh wow. I never want to be anywhere else but here. To know Mosaic is, is I think, to know a, a part of maybe God's heart and the vision that Jesus had for the church. It's all about creating spaces for people to get to know who Jesus is. We're the church. The church serves the world. We don't leave it up to governments. We don't leave it up to, to politics. We serve the world. If we're the end of the story, then it wasn't the best story that we could have told. I hope that we're not the end of the story. I hope we're just the beginning of a story, that Mosaic is not in her last chapter, that actually this 30th anniversary is just Mosaic in her first chapter.